to half past six, seven o'clock, because there's been a slight change of plan. The hotel at the Kanjin Jung in North Base Camp's closed. And to be honest, I'm not too sad about that because it was a bit rough last night. The thermometer said it went down to minus seven, which I'm sure some people say, well, I've stayed in something much colder than that, but when you're in basically just a garden shed with one inch gaps between all the boards, it's not that pleasant. But uh, we got cosy, plenty of blankets, and we're on a, on a march now. We're going to go up to base camp as quick as we can, back down, and back down to Kanjapan. It is cold. It's got nice and early this morning, and we're on our way to the Kanchen Jung in North Base Camp. And so he's even brought a pot of tea. How great is that? A pot of tea halfway, but no biscuits though. Right. But, uh, it's good also. It's good also. Tea's enough. Tea's enough. It's good we have in Base Camp. Have we only got some biscuits on our Base Camp? Oh, um, uh, so uh, we eat biscuits. Base Camp is a biscuit. Biscuit, yeah. Biscuit is in our bag. Yeah. The Base Camp is not water, it's closed. Right. So I have a biscuit. So we'll stop the Base Camp and then we eat biscuit. Well, a celebration biscuit and a Snickers, yeah? To celebrate getting to the top. Keep going, so that's, that's nice. Keep singing, that's really nice. Azamolai kyanam so kusi lakucha Paltana bata nambari half nai gharma akucha Aja malai kya naam so kushi la kocha Aja malai kya naam so kushi la kocha Patan bata nambari afnai ghar ma akocha Aja malai kya naam so kushi la kocha Ah hey 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 What song was that, Sobi? Uh, it's kind of uh, it's typical Western Nepali song. Oh. It's meaning of the military. Right. So, one military invite the friend. Right. He also military. Yeah. And military to come to his friend home. Right. And as his friend is to make as a party mm -hmm. in the night. In the night is in his home. So in the whole night and they're the singing and the dancing. It means I'm very happy to today because it's my so number. It means it's my platoon commander or platoon friend or his military oh. friend. He he is coming in my home today. Oh. So I'm very happy. Oh. It's the meaning of the song. Just been walking along. Sorry, there are a couple of uh, footprints, which de we definitely weren't a dog. And there's not many big cats around here, and so it must have been the one and only snow level. Okay. But I know it's only a footprint, but I'm afraid that's good. That's good enough for me. Yeah, I can see that. Well, let's not hang about then, shall we not? I mean, we've not seen actual snow leopard, but like I just said, a footprint's good enough for me. I mean, the BBC spent millions and millions of pounds up here years ago, and they never saw one.
corner somewhere. This canteen jump is up there somewhere. Hopefully we get up to the base camp and we'll be able to see it. We found a little spot and there's no wind. We're working a bit of a tea stop at the top but I think it's going to be too windy there for having tea and biscuits. So we've stopped here and Sob is giving permission to have one of these which is a very rare commodity up here. Even though it's one year out to date. See that? Oh, 0117. One biscuits as well. I mean, tea and biscuits. And what height are you at, Sobi? 550. There we go. Tea and biscuits at 5050. And an out of date Snickers bar. But I really don't care because I'm going to really enjoy this. You've no idea how rare these things are up here. sunshine but when that big yellow sun goes down it's a different world up here here we are Canton Younger Base Camp Hotel 1,100 1, what Sobi? 5,120 5,120 meters above sea level Canton Junga Base Camp, 5,100 and something metres. Absolutely nobody. I mean, I can't imagine every base camp being the same as this. I mean, I'm not knocking it, but it's me and Sobi here, and that is it. It's not a soul here. Everyone's gone. I mean, if you have to have an accident up here now, the next nearest point of contact is back at where we just come from, on Eck. And I think he's got a phone, maybe. I think if I was to fall over here and have an accident, by the time Sobe got back here with some help, it'd be time for, it'd be half a day with the Undertakers, I think. There's absolutely nothing here. This is the edge of the world. before in one of the earlier films. This is a little bit of a shrine for people that have died up here. Someone, some Korean chap died on the 14th of September 1969. Another one died from the Korean broadcasting system.
Bears go. Time to go. It's apparently come midday, the wind gets a bit fierce, and I can see that happening right now, so we're out of here, kid. We're gone. The speech. Bye bye, Kanchanjunga Base Camp, and bye bye, Snow Leopard. Yeah. Bye bye, Kanchanjunga Base Camp. Base Camp. What is it? What, what we say? Jam jam? Jam jam! Jam jam! Jam jam! It's turning a bit windy on the way back. Forward motion is quite difficult. Sorry it wasn't saying Lenox tonight again, but I'm going to put my foot down and say no. I don't care if we get back in the dark. We're going back to Gambachin. I'm not staying another night up there tonight. It was absolutely bloody freezing. We're going to go back to the nice white house with a nice cosy warm room and have that special meal again oh, oh when I went back, back to Lenoc now after going to the base camp just come up across a stretch there it was very dusty and it really wasn't very pleasant at all I couldn't see a bloody thing the one thing I forgot on this trip there's always one thing Game, no matter how we tick we plant things. But even when I'll find to get some no glasses. And why much I would have paid for a pair of sunglasses then? You have no idea. That was awful. Anyway, we'll be on the back of the dock. It's gonna be a cup, a quick cup of tea and uh, a large bar. Look, just in front of us. I think they are, I can't tell you that the on. Blue Horn Mountain Sheep. Now watch this now, as I get closer and closer and closer, they can't smell me at the moment, the wind's blowing towards me. They will vamoosh like a missile. Oh, perhaps they're not. Uh oh, uh oh. No, no, they're staying, they're not, they're not, they're not too bothered. That was a mountain sheep. Oh, you spelt me peace, boys. Last time I saw some you, you set off like a, like a cruise missile. Oh, yeah, well, fuck that one. We just got back to Lonek, and there's some very brave back French to, people turned up. Back to Kambachin. Cam and we're going back down to Cambachin now tonight. We get to do some decent food. But uh, look at this. Donut, because this is very windy. I know. Very windy. Just like to the show base camp. We set off this morning from Lanek. We went up to Kanchenjunga base camp north. And then went all the way back down to Lanek. 
grabbed our bags and making our way back to camp for chin for the night. As we're coming down the valley now, as it seems to be the way at this time of night, the clouds are slowly coming up the valley. And just look how amazing that is. Are we nearly there yet? Is that all? I feel a lot better now, 4,300. 5,200 I felt quite poorly. Are we having some singing? Are we having some singing? Are we having some singing as you walk? Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> yeah. We just come back into Campuchin. I hope we get there before it gets dark. You can just see through there the last little bits of Kumbakerna or Janu. I, I can't imagine in my life that anybody has even attempted to climb that. But I'm sure somebody has. It's a bit steep to me. Here we are back at the White House or the Kanchen Jungle Guest House. Yeah. Camp, all the way to Lonak to Best Camp. I know. And then come back to Best uh, Lonak and then quick lunch yeah. and come in Confidant. That was, that was a long day. Yes. <laughs> Finally we are in Cambodia. We're in Cambodia. Oh look, the, where's Rex the puppy? Yeah. What's this here, Sophie? It's uh, related by the Buddhist culture. Every in the morning they are going to the pray. And right. this we call the Juniper. It's, it's, it's every morning, every Buddhist house, they're going to burn and then pray. It means it's a good for a health, for a family, and then good to day, start today. All right, thank you. So we stayed here two nights ago, and uh, while having dinner, the owner explained to us that a few years ago, there was quite a few yaks going missing in the night. Now, if you've ever seen a yak, it's no small task taking one of those down. So anyway, they had a bit of a scout around and they found quite a few big sort of cat footprints. So they sent away to somewhere and some David Attenborough type bods turned up. And they set a few traps around here, humane traps obviously, to see what, uh, what was knocking about. And sure enough, a couple of days later, the alarm goes off. Yeah, and they go dashing out to the trap. And the trap, was just here in the bushes here. And lo and behold, guess what they got? A snow leopard. Now the guy showed me some pictures that he took of this snow leopard in this trap. It didn't look very happy at all. It was the most ferocious looking thing I've ever seen in my life. Now, they weren't going to kill it obviously, they were humane traps. But I really did not envy the guy that having to go and take the little loose off its little paw. Because it looked very, very cross. Anyway, they stuck a collar on it and it disappeared off into the Himalayas and they've been tracking it now for a few years and each year it covers hundreds and hundreds of miles <sighs> we are now officially in snow leopard country as, as we've seen by the footprint today yeah. 